today, let's make 10 easy doll photography backgrounds for Instagram. I am using poster board from the dollar store to make a backdrop scrapbook. This measures 22 by 28 inches. On the longer side, measure and mark 8 inches from the bottom, draw a line, cut on the line drawn, fold it in half to make a 14 by 14 inch folded square. Open and stand it up to make the easiest backdrop for your doll photos. A simple white background with good lighting can give you amazing photos. Cut and fold another piece of poster board. This time on the inside, take watercolors, paint long stripes going across the poster board. I started with a few shades of blue, then I moved into a purple, pink, then blue again. Lightly mist it with a little bit of water so the colors blend together, allow it to dry to make a watercolor backdrop. we're cutting all of our poster board to the same size, we can glue them together to start a book of backdrops. Plus, this makes the poster board more sturdy. Let's add another page. Cut the ends off of jumbo craft sticks, glue the popsicle sticks onto one side of the poster board, leaving a little space before the crease. Going all the way across, staggering them, trim off the end, then use it to start the next row. Continue until one whole side is covered. Use a nail file to sand down any rough edges to make a wooden backdrop with a lot of texture that can be used as a wall or a floor. This is also a great way to showcase a few of your doll accessories. take a while to cut all of those popsicle sticks, so let's go with something a little easier for the next one. For our fourth backdrop, cut black poster board, fold it in half to make a black backdrop. You can take beautiful dramatic photos with a black backdrop. Ooh, I like all of the contrast. For backdrop number five, cut white poster board to make our simple backdrop, then use a marker and start doodling. You can draw whatever you like. Don't worry about making mistakes, just doodle. I'm hoping this will turn into a camera. We'll have to just wait and see. Ah, it's kind of close. Make a little piece at the bottom. Little button right here, little button right there. That's the eyepiece, little shine on the lens. I think my camera has another line right here. This is where we would attach, ah, oh, my Sharpie. This is where we would attach the neck strap. And here's the neck strap. Let's draw a few Polaroids around it. Even though that doesn't look like a Polaroid camera, it's my doodle, anything can go. to make a fun backdrop. For number six, let's take a poster board and stickers. Place the stickers on the poster board. I'm just using a very simple heart. I'm trying my best to evenly space them for a splash of color. Number seven, take a white background, glue colored poster board or paper to the side for a little color blocking. We can use the other side to add a different color. Number 
8. I found these paper flowers on clearance at the craft store. So let's take a poster board. I am going to cover it with a wood grain scrapbook paper. I'm using a very light wood. Once both sides have been covered, begin gluing the paper flowers to the poster board, avoiding the center crease. Since these are made out of paper, they lay flat, making them perfect for our backdrop scrapbook. To create a 3D backdrop with a lot of texture. This reminds me of a garden wall. Maybe our doll walks past it on the way home from getting a cup of coffee. For backdrop number 9, cut a white poster board to make the simple backdrop. Only this time, we are going to make cutouts on one of the walls. Use a ruler to draw rectangles, cut lines going straight across, and remember to always have adult supervision when crafting. We have several lines here. I am going to cut and remove every other so we can make a fun lighting effect. Place the doll in the room, shine a light through the cutout so it looks like blinds. Playing with light can make some really fun photos. We can use leftover poster board to add strength to the walls. Our very last backdrop is a simple one. Cut green poster board, fold it in half to make a green screen that we can use with the Snapstar Studio app. Just place the doll in front of the green screen, open the photo studio, then have fun changing the background to whatever you like, instantly giving you a ton of different backdrops. Uh -huh. Giving me 10 backdrops for doll photography. This is a great start. I can always add to it by making new backdrops. Since they are all glued together, they are easy to store. Thank you for joining us while we made these backdrops. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. We want to give a shout out to Mario Mario. What's up? I am loving these new backdrops. That's pretty cool. It's like a wall garden. Whoa, what happened to the rest of my body? Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Green screen. The